Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this motion graphics text effect in DaVinci Resolve. First of all, go over here and create a new fusion composition. Then let's head over to our fusion composition. And over here, let's first of all create a background. Now let's go ahead and add a text. So over here, I'm going to add a text like this. And let's write motion graphics over here. And of course, you can write any text that you want. And you can also choose any font that you like. I'm just going to go with this one. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to create a masking. So over here, I have dragged in a rectangle and I'm going to fit this width so that it lines up with the text. And of course, I'm going to decrease the height so that it matches our text. And now I'm going to connect this to our text as a mask. Okay, so at 20, I'm going to create a keyframe at our text. Okay, so at 20, I'm going to create a keyframe at center and now let's go back to zero and move this it's over here so now let's play this and you can see we have a masking effect okay now let's go ahead and add another background and now i'm also going to add this rectangle over here connect it with the background and let's go ahead and set the width to 0 0.005 and the height at 0 0.15 and at 20, I'm going to move this right here. Now let's go ahead and connect this with our merge nodes. And also make sure that you change the color of this to white. Okay, so now at zero, we want to move this. First of all, let's go ahead and create a keyframe over here at 20. And then go all the way to zero. And then move this right here. Okay, so right now it does not match our text revealing. So we need to make sure how to fix that. Okay, so first of all, let's make sure that this is correctly working. Okay, so I'm going to quickly do this so that this matches our text mask. So first of all, let's go over here and set this to here. And this will automatically create a keyframe for us. And here you can see it is working just fine. So here you can see our text is moving in along with this shape. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is go over to your text and copy this by Control C and then click anywhere on your nodes panel and then click Control V. And this will create a copy of that same text. Now let's go ahead and connect this with this merge. Okay, so if you click on this, we can now move this. And you can see that we have in a copy of our text. Okay, so make sure that you are on text on this text. Go over add shading. And then in the appearance section, just go ahead and select the second one that says text outline. And this will give you this effect. Similarly, I'm going to copy this once again and then paste this with paste this over here and then connect this with the merge node. And now I'm going to move this right here. So we have these two text copies. So now let's go ahead and mask these as well. Okay, so the first mask I'm going to do is for this first one. Let's go ahead and set the height. Over here. Let's go ahead and set the width as well. All right, so now let's go ahead and move in at 50. And now I'm going to connect this with text one and then go over to 50 on your timeline. And here you can go and click this text 
and set the keyframe at center. And then go back to 30 and then move this right here so that it seems like it is revealing behind this text or from this text. Let's do the same thing and create another mask. And this time it will be for this text at the bottom. Let's go ahead and set this width and this height. Move this right here. And now let's connect this. And then of course we're going to do the same thing. Go to the layout of this text. Set a keyframe at 50. And then go at 30 and then move this here. Oh. Now you can see we have this nice looking effect. But now let's go in the spline. And here let's go ahead and select these two text copies that we created. So here you can see we have this graph. Select both of these. Hit S on your keyboard. Then slightly just move this one. So that this, there is a slight variation in our animation. Here you can see it looks much better. And of course, if you want this to look like a blinking cursor, all you need to do is go over to this rectangle over here. And first of all, let's just decrease the height a bit. Move this right here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add zero. Select the merge three that is connected with this shape. And over here, you can simply select this blend. Then go over at 5, move this at 0, go over at 10, move this at 1 back again. And now just go ahead and select this, go over to spline, and select your text, only select this merge, and then select all your keyframes over here. Go over here and click on this set loop. So this will create an effect for you. So if you play this, you can see we have a blinking effect over here. So this was it for this video. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.